Hello, hello, hello! How is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I myself am just kind of getting over a cold or getting into it. As I said, it was coming on and it finally reared its ugly head. I thought I was over it, but as you can probably tell from my voice, I'm not exactly sounding up to par. But that will not stop me. The worst of it seems to be over. I can talk again, so I figured I'd do a little recording with you guys. As you can see, I'm hard at work at the moment. Just kind of clearing away all the clay that I can. I have been busy, 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 busy for uh, about a week and a half now. As you can see, I've moved over here. Uh, let's just sleep and I'll show you guys just everything we've been up to. Uh, I've reorganized all my chests. Just trying to find... Actually, that seems a little loud. Music and sounds... No, everything's good. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll go to bed here. As you can kind of see from the, uh, as I fall asleep, what we've done here is uh, I've lowered everything down to about Y60, and I've not done yet. You can actually see where I've left off in terms of uh, just working on the geology of the area, trying to maintain the, the as I said, we're going to keep the idea of... Uh, like a red uh, hematite-rich uh, band with the iron oxide staining below it. Um, band of sulfur-rich up there. Maybe it's pyrite-rich. Who knows? Um, if it is, it would have, like, if I remember correctly, I believe pyrite leaves a blackish stain on the rocks, but... We're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, but yeah, all of this has been hollowed out. I have to finish shaping the hillsides here. I missed a spot there i got to fix. But again, we're not going to have this come straight down. It's... it's. I've got ideas for what I'm going to do with the area, and I wanted to talk a bit about with that with you guys right now. Um, I'm not really sure I'm going to keep that little little notch in there missing, but we'll we'll see. Um, yeah, I really gotta fix that. I can't believe I missed it. Oh well. More pillaring and fixing. All I did was just... It's not like I drilled in particularly deep with a uh, pickaxe to replace it. I just basically replaced the first block. It's just cosmetic, but it gets to the point. Um, I also gotta fix that up there. Anyway, um, I've decided I'm gonna keep these caves. Again, just to help make things a little more interesting. I'm gonna shape it so it widens as it gets lower. That way I'll also be able to make use of these caves here. Um, yeah, a couple places... if we can see them from here... probably not. Um, oh, here's one. If you look just up there, see where that red line is broken on the side there? While I was walking around up above, I, uh, I was looking at places like that, and it just looked kind of funny, and I was thinking, if this was a natural landscape, you'd have some some slumping, some uh, erosion, some buildup of like loose loose material, just sliding down the slopes, and so you'd have the bands interrupted with just loose material that's fallen out of the way, fallen to the ground, been replaced by other uh, dusts and 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 uh, tephra. No, I think. Tephra is used specifically with volcanic material. Um, but the basic idea that you've got this this loose rock, uh, eroded rock, just kind of sliding down the side there. So I, I do want to try and put that in. Again, minor details. Nothing anyone's going to notice but me. But it's something to keep me happy. Really nice cave down here. I do want to go explore. Um, what my plans are for here... So having, you know dug all this out, I realized it's a lot wider than I was initially expecting, and that makes me quite happy, actually. Because I was worried it was going to be too narrow when I first started, but I was thinking over here I could do like a little oxbow and have the farms... Uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, uh, I have blocks on me. So you have a river, right? And rivers start off straight, and then over time, due to various factors, um, rivers start to meander and curve. Well, what can happen is eventually that meander and that curve becomes so great 
that eventually what nature does, because water will always take the path of least resistance, um, eventually it'll go, okay, well, I'm tired of going all the way here, there's a weak spot here, and so I will, you know, straighten myself out. And the water eventually gets trapped off and isolated, forming what's known as uh, an oxbow. I realize this is a very poor example to use with blocks, but I hope that gives you a basic idea of what an oxbow is. It's just a little oxbow lake that we'll put over there. It's where we'll hide the crops. I was thinking the area here would be quite rich, so I'm going to try and include as much greenery as I can. But I have just I just I have various ideas I want to do here, things I want to include, and I think that'll be really cool. Um, if we head over here. You remember before I was going to cut off the valley somewhere? I have lava somewhere down here, and I have yet to find it, and I would like to find it, because odds are I'm going to find it the hard way by falling into it. Um, but I was going to cut it off somewhere around here, because uh, this was the down part, and this is where the farm would have been right here, where I had my potatoes growing. I have to replant them somewhere. Um, so initially it was just going to come along and basically follow this, from this corner here to here is a straight line and be one massive waterfall, but when I was up top there, actually let's head up there, thank you, um, if we come up here and look at it from above, so right there is where it was going to cut off, and I saw this massive area here kind of like a little little inlet, little lake, and I was thinking, man, that would be perfect. Down around where I live, there's a place called Balls Falls. Gorgeous place to hike in the summer, and if you ever get a chance to, usually, if it's a particularly hot summer, usually sometime about mid to late August, the creeks feeding the waterfall dry up, and so you can walk right... It's very dangerous, and I don't suggest you do this without parental supervision or anyone's supervision, just because if you fall, you're basically dead, but if you survive, you'll want help. Um, the waterfall dries up, so you can walk right to the edge of the waterfall and look down over into the, uh, the basin. And I was thinking what I'll do here with that little island, and I'll go up and show you, is we would have the main falls coming down, and then we would have this waterfall basin. I might actually pull this forward a little bit now that I'm looking at it, just to help round it up with that edge there. I think it's a little too far back. Yeah, I think it is. So I'll pull that up. I'll use that corner there as a marker and just kind of round it out. And we'll have a basin here for where the, the water collects and gathers as it goes over the edge of the falls. Um, and then we'll have the river just come along. Just come along here up and along and over, and I haven't decided if I'm going to have it go all the way over there, or what exactly, but we'll work about those details later. First, the big thing we have to do is continue carving out the canyon. Just head over there. I just want to show you some ideas I had. You notice here I've placed sand with the sandstone. I just wanted to create that idea of, uh, well, just basically a loose material on top of a harder material. You do get sediment and sand washing up on rocks that are close to the edge here. Um, but, yeah, like I said, we'll we'll still keep this. I like the idea. It's a neat little experiment and something I'll remember in the future. But definitely we're going to we're gonna pull this forward. So we have a bit of a, a, a river pouring into and over the falls. Uh, we'll just go from here to there. But what I have to do... And I'm going to cut here, partially because my voice is going, and I didn't think recording would be that hard on it, but it turns out it is. So I'm going to take a little break uh, from recording. I've got to do something... well, I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish taking out the rest of this clay, and once all that's gone, I'm going to finish shaping this area. I'm going to finish replacing all of the clay with uh, the orange color, with the browner natural color of the hard, hardened clay. And then I'm going to go gather a boatload of gunpowder and a boatload of sand, because I don't really care about stone. I have 
tons of the stuff now. I mean, I haven't removed that much stone clearing to the level I have, but I mean, that that's a fair bit of stone here. Like, that's, that's a good amount. So what I'm going to do is nothing amazing. I'm also probably going to have to make a new anvil and make a new pick because that's about to go, but because I think it's now up to like 17 to repair. No, I think 17 was the last level, so it might be able to, it might be too expensive for me to repair now. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to work on clearing out the last of this clay. I'm going to gather some gunpowder and some sand, and then when I have well, at least a stack probably two, I will, oops, failed at parkour, um, I will come back with you guys, we will do some work, just dynamiting outing the can, dynamite outing the canyon, and yeah, we'll see how it goes, so I will see you guys shortly, and we'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. So I've gathered the materials. Uh, I actually brought some stuff along with me. And I'm grabbing four stacks just to be on the safe side. I don't know how well this is going to go. We're shooting uh, our dear friends, the Creepers. I also brought our horse up here because, well, we don't want to get the little guy caught in any explosions. I have, as you can see here, spent some time dropping down the... just the area one more block, just to give that little bit of... a uh, bit of a buffer zone against any explosions. I really don't want to lose any of the sand or any of the clay so what I'm gonna do is try and avoid the outer edges keep to the middle to you know blast that out and just clean up the sides as I go I gotta be honest I don't have a lot of you took the sand could you drop it please that's very valuable to me just just drop it somewhere okay stop shooting me I'm pleading with an enderman thank you Um. That can stay here for now. I missed replacing some clay. Just drop it, buddy! Come on! I don't want to look at you! I don't want to make you angry! Uh, I hope he puts it down somewhere. We're also hopefully going to find out where that lava is, because... Yeah, it's going to suck if I find it the hard way. Um, Something else we're going to have to do, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's use this area over here as a testing ground, because I have ender pearls. Perfect. I don't have a lot of experience with TNT. I... I've used it in creative, and as always, it's always easier in creative. Um, I understand the basic principles of what you have to do. Uh, just chain them together. Uh, Actually, I can give you an example, for those of you who are unfamiliar with some of the characteristics of TNT. And I totally forgot a lighter, so let's go grab a lighter. Or flint and steel, I should say. Please tell me I have flint and steel. If not, it's going to suck, and I will cut as I just break gravel with my fist. Um... I don't really want to waste all the arrows shooting TNT, although that would keep me a safe distance from the... Keep going, buddy. You'll make it one day. Uh, flint and steel. I knew I had it somewhere. Selling to the max. Whee! So yeah, my plan is, while I part from you guys, I'm gonna blast this canyon down, because I don't care about the cobble. Uh, I gotta say, having the mob farm probably only took about an hour of AFK to get enough gunpowder to, to make four stacks of TNT. Um, and then the sand, thankfully, I'd already gathered up, as you saw, over the uh, savanna biome. Uh, but for those of you who don't know some of the properties of TNT, if you have a TNT block next to another TNT block and you do this... Almost didn't see it there. It will ignite the TNT block next to it, so you can chain them together. Uh, one of the other things is we'll go over here to place a TNT block in stone it will blow up do your thing do it ow a 9x9 nine nine area every time if it's one TNT but if you have multiple TNTs 
that'll start chaining together. So what we're going to do here... Uh -huh, totally didn't think this one out, did I? Totally didn't think this one out, did I? Dang it. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm thinking... We do something like this, maybe? Eh. Nothing can go horribly wrong with too much TNT, right? Uh, yeah, right there. We'll just do this. Oh, also materials uh, have blast resistances, different blast resistances. Stone is one of the higher ones. I hope this goes so well for me, because if it doesn't, I'll be very, very sad when I lose all this clay and all the work I've done. So, as an added let's not screw myself, um, we'll just cap the blast. What could go wrong? All right, three, two, one, fireworks! Run! That was okay, that was okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. I'm a little sad now. A little sad. Gonna have to retrieve all that. Mm, not a bad hole, and we're... Y53, this is going to take a while. Ooh, iron. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to have fun doing. It's not going to be that great. But that was, what, 12? Hmm, more TNT than I thought. This is going to take quite a lot of TNT. But anything I put in will ease the total amount I have to pick out with a pick. So, hooray! This may suck a bit for me. Anyway, I have a dog barking in the background because I'm again dog sitting. God bless the animals. God, they're wonderful. By the way, I don't know if you can tell if my voice is a little bit better. I actually end up, oop, I'll take you, uh, ended up taking probably about four days to get over that cold. I ended up losing my voice the next day almost completely. And then uh, it was a slow, slow methodical race to try and get my, my voice back. I'm going to kill a dog, folks. No, I'm not going to kill him. I love her dearly, but she's incredibly dumb and probably at this moment barking at a cat that is nowhere near the house, or... Uh, what else does she like to bark at? Uh, bags. She'll bark at bags because they frighten her. For some reason, their fluttery floatiness in the wind just terrifies the snot out of her. I don't want to lose you. I like you. Here, take that. Um... Let's just swap this out for this. So yeah, I'm going to blow stuff up. I'll do a couple cuts here, and then I will show you the inevitable finished product while I go silence an animal. Bless that dog and all her silly ways. See you guys in just a sec. So, fun fast fact about creepers, for those of you who don't know, if you take, uh... You can light creepers up like dynamite and blow them up if you have uh, flint and steel. Just fun, random fun facts I'd tell you before I continue clearing out the area. Uh, yeah, not much left to do, and this one little divot will be done. See you guys in a sec. And I'm back, guys. Uh, I'm out of TNT. Oh, look at him! He's adorable! Oh, he's got a hat! He's such a big boy! He's, he's such a big boy with his hat. You are. You are. Yeah. Oh, and there's twins. He's got a full outfit. Look at that. Just look at that. They got their outfits. and They're the most handsomest little boys ever. Uh, uh, boom. Yeah. Oh, uh, come here. Come here. I'm going to kill you with creepers. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You and me, buddy. 
creepers. Oh, so cute with your little meat. Come on. Come on. This is how we're going to end the episode, guys. Oh, he died. Alrighty. Well, with that little bit of ridiculousness, hope you guys are doing well. Oh, what am I doing? I haven't even shown you the mess I've made. Um, yeah. Hooray for parkour. Don't shoot me. Oh, you jerk. Ah. Ah. Hi. Take that. Uh, yeah, so this is the mess I've made. Uh, definitely got to do a lot of clearing out. Just a, a little bit of clearing out. I'll clean this up. I definitely want to... Hmm. Definitely want to drop this a little more. Because we're only at Y53, and I was saying I wanted to go down to Y20. I don't know if I'm going to go down the full Y20, because being down this low, it is only six blocks, but... We'll see. We'll see how how I feel and how things are going. Lots of iron here. I can't say no to it. I have actually been picking up uh, resources as I find them. Coal, I'm kind of ignoring now. Um, shortcut time. Totally missed that. Um, and also lost my train of thought. Awesome. Oh, I was going to drop this down to Y20, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think... Like, here it's already starting to feel kind of that that closed-in, semi-claustrophobic feel I was going for with the valley. Um, and then going down to, say, here, you definitely get that looking up into the, like, the fact that it really is nestled down. Um, so I'm not too sure. I might do a test hole. Uh, just do a line of dynamite, blow open a hole, and see what you know kind of looks like from further down but I mean for for now what is this why why 49 isn't a bad isn't a bad depth for giving that that illusion of, of being quite far below I also think going down that low will really give the uh, the waterfall there's an endermite somewhere hi this is an endermite for those of you who don't know this adorable little guy who now actually has an AI and doesn't just wander around in circles. Um, he's, he's an Endermite. He's adorable. And he's dead. Um, always getting distracted. N Boop! Wall. Come over here. I think... I think that'll really give this waterfall an impressive... Quite an impressive drop. Uh, so that is something I will hopefully hopefully by next episode actually you know what? no by next episode my plan is we are going to get this waterfall done well we're not gonna get the waterfall done but we're gonna get the main area of the waterfall done so you can at least get an idea of what it's gonna look like even though there'll be no water flowing over top I want to get the the river carved out first before I deal with that maybe figure out some more of the geology um, but in the meantime I'm gonna work on blowing out the hole so I'm gonna go collect a bunch more uh, gunpowder and a bunch more sand and just have fun blowing stuff up hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, I hope you're all doing well and until I see you next time take care of yourselves bye bye